Hi everybody. Welcome to my channel. This is Deb's Way and I'm Deb. And it is a bright, sunny, but very cold day in Central Florida again today. Um, we've got winter back again. After about a week of very, very nice weather, nice, sunny, warm even, we're back to the deep freeze. And for us, the deep freeze is in the 40s right now. I don't think we have any predictions for temperatures any lower than like around 42 or so. But anyway, this week is supposed to be pretty chilly and it's, it is. <laughs> so if you're not used to it, it is very cold. For you Northern people, I, I pray that you're safe and that you stay warm, as warm as you possibly can and as safe as you possibly can be. I remember what it was like living up North and living through weather like what you're having right now and even worse than that, what it is. But, um, you know, like they say, this too shall pass. So just hang in there for a while. Okay, first of all, what I'm going to do is something that was addressed um, on a channel that I watch. And it was from Little Poets Channel. So, she did a, a New Year's tag, and I don't know, I haven't been on YouTube long enough to know exactly what a tag is, but I thought I liked some of the questions or, or thought provokers that she mentioned, and I, I thought I would do that in my video today. So this is my start and my response to Little Poet. For her New Year's tag, she had one through nine questions and thought provokers, I'll call them, you know. Um, and number one was, rate 2019 on a scale of one to 10. Okay, well, a lot of you out there already know that uh, from my story about um, my work experience with a, a bully at the workplace, I started working there in August of 2018. Everything was fine for a couple of months, so we won't go into that part of it. But around the holidays, things really, really, really went sour. So I would have to say that as far as my rating 2019 on a scale of 1 to 10, the beginning months of 2019 were definitely low on the scale. And probably I would have to say negative in the negative numbers, really. It was really, really bad. Um, but the spring... It brought about a fantastic new change for me because I had left that employment. I had put all of that behind me and I was making my way through the rough time that the previous few months had afforded me. So yes, 2019 started out real low, real bad, but it, within a few months, improved drastically. You know, there's no other way it could to go. It had to go up from where it was because it was down, 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 real low. <laughs> so, um, the number two is favorite memory of 2019. <sighs> I would have to say that would be my trip to Great Britain in late August. That was a trip that I had looked forward to for quite a long time. During that trip, I had hoped to meet up with a pen friend of mine that I'd had for over 30 years. And, I mean, we'd met off and on, spent time off and on together over those years, but we weren't able to get in contact or meet up at all during my trip over. So I was really disappointed about that. But I had a great vacation. I toured um, a few countries that I'd never been to before, like Scotland and Ireland. Beautiful areas. Absolutely beautiful. And I got to meet up with um, a pen friend of mine that I had had when I was in, I think we started corresponding when I was in junior high, actually, towards like ninth grade. And uh, he lived in London at the time, and I was in Minnesota. He was a Bob Dylan fan, or I should say he is a Bob Dylan fan. And that kind of intrigued him, I guess, that here was a girl from Minnesota wanting to correspond with him. Did I know Bob Dylan? <laughs> you know? No. But anyway, 
No, it was well over 50 years ago that we sort of started corresponding and we finally met up in Scotland where he's living now and we met in Glasgow. So that whole trip and everything that happened on that trip would be a highlight of 2019 for me, I believe. Yeah, it was a good time and it was a great memory. Okay, number three is, did you change as a person in 2019? How? Oh my goodness. Well, most definitely, yes, I did change. In the beginning of the year, primarily, of course, because of what I was going through in the workplace. That had quite a major effect on me, how I acted, how I dealt with things. It affected my home life as well. Too much, too, too much. Until I finally decided that enough was enough. You know, that I did not have to take that anymore. And I left and then things kind of returned to normal for me. I became me again, you know, and enjoyed life again. So number three, yeah, that was the how. It was the, it was a work, my work life affecting my personality and my outlook in life and uh, just everything, my whole demeanor. It was having a very, very negative effect on me. So yes, it had to change. And I brought about that change. So number four is favorite video you did in 2019 and why? Well, I haven't done that many videos, you know, just over a hundred, I think some hundred something. But I thought about the different videos that I've done that I enjoy doing, and I've enjoyed doing a lot of them, a lot of different topics. Um, but I, I was, and I, I guess I really couldn't pinpoint it down to just one video that I liked most of all. There were different themes of videos, and when it came right down to it, what I decided to do was just tell you that I enjoyed making the cooking videos, period. You know, everything that I cooked is something typical of what we eat here uh, on a normal basis. I don't think I really experimented with something brand new. That is coming up in the, in the next year for sure. But uh, most of the baking or cooking that I did, I got the ingredients ready and just filmed it as I was putting things in and then baking it and showing you what it was like after. And sometimes I've, I'd have food flying all over the place or making a mess of this or that. And sometimes baked goods especially did not turn out to be exactly the way that they should be. They weren't perfect. But then you know what? A lot of baking and cooking and that isn't perfect. But it is still edible. It is still very good. And I just showed you the way it is. That's normal around here. So yeah, I, I enjoyed doing the cooking videos that I did. Um, it was real life around here, in action, everyday life, okay? So that was it. It was, it was all good, put it that way. So, okay, number five is, name one or two products that blew you away. Well, one that I recently did mention was my little Nano that I have for doing manicures and pedicures. That little manicure tool is a wonderful little tool. Um, it, is, it, it, has saved, it has saved us a lot of money too because we no longer go to the, the salons that do the mani-pedis, so we don't pay for that anymore. I just happen to think. I, I give William his mani-pedi. He could at least tip me. Don't you think? Anyway, that is a great little product right there. The next product that I've tried, I would have to say it's the um, Kaboom product for um, the eyebrow. Cabrow is what it was called, the eyebrow powder. I like that little product the little brush and a silver bottle and then you pull it out and put it on. Yeah, I like that. I'm still using up some, some of my old stuff, 
but every now and then I pull out the Cabral, see I did it, the Kaboom product and give that a try. But it is a really nice little product. Am I on number six already? Okay, number six is what creator on YouTube inspired you the most in 2019? Well, that's a no brainer. Even though I watch YouTube channels of various topics, um, yes, I would have to say that Lead Me to Peace Genie has been the biggest influence on me, my whole career here on YouTube, because when I was having my troubles at work, I was talking to her off and on about that. And when I left work, we were in contact constantly. And she kind of suggested that I give this a try. She thought I might like it too, that she'd been doing it for so long. And I did try it. I got started on it. And boy, did I get hooked. So yes, I've enjoyed doing the videos. I've enjoyed the comments that I've received. I, I have really... This has been a good hobby. This is what I look at it as being too. It's a, it's a nice hobby. It puts me in contact with you out there and I love communicating with you and, and chatting with you through comments. Um, it, it's just been a lot of fun for me. So yes, I do appreciate Jeannie's um, suggesting this and me going forward with it. So thank you, Jeannie. Okay, number seven. What is the funniest slash meanest slash strangest comment you got under a video? And I thought about that one for quite a while. I cannot think of a funniest. I mean, there have been some amusing things that people have told me, you know, to kind of go along with things that I've said on my videos that have happened to me. And strangest, hmm, I don't think there's anything that's been really strange sounding. Meanest, unfortunately, yeah, I do have something that fits into that category. And, and that comes from a comment. Um, way back in the beginning, there were some very negative comments from one lady, and it had to do with, you know, like my demeanor on the, on the camera during the video, and, and, oh, I didn't smile enough, I didn't laugh enough, I, you know, that sort of thing, or I didn't do this, or I didn't do that, and I just thought, okay, I'll, I'll listen to that, you know, because, yeah, I'm just starting out, it'll help a lot. And so I, I took it to heart, you know, but then those negative comments just kept happening. You know, every film, there was nothing good. It was all negative. Little negative cut right here and there, you know, nothing in detail typically. And then I started thinking, wait a minute, <laughs> you know, nothing is good about my videos. You know, it's all bad to her. Well, in a way, I figured there was a bully right there, you know, in a way, in a way, or somebody that just is a type of person that they make themselves feel better by cutting down other people, you know? And this was one of her ways. And it happens to be that she does comment on a couple of other videos or in other channels that I do watch. And some of her, her, her comments are just real short and some are okay. But then some of the people that have been out there videoing for quite a while, she has made some rather rude comments too as well. So I just figured, you know what? This is supposed to be fun for me. I have enjoyed it. I'm going to continue enjoying it. And for me to do that, I kind of said bye-bye to her. So you don't need a lot of negativity, you know, in your life. And constructive criticism is one thing, but if it's constant negativity and complaints and critiquing, no, it, go to some other channel. If it makes you feel better, you know, do it with them and they'll listen for as long as they want to or not. Okay, um, number eight. What is your proudest accomplishment of 2019? Well, I gave that some long, hard thought. Because to me, accomplishments to me in the past have been when I, when I finished a, a training class, when I got a new job, you know, um, when I got a diploma, <laughs> you know, when I graduated college, that type of thing. Those to me are accomplishments. But you know what? There can be little accomplishments too in life that you should celebrate. And maybe I just don't take time to do that. And maybe I should. 
but as far as things that I accomplished in 2019, the main thing that came to mind was me doing my YouTube channel. I have learned how to <laughs> download videos. I've learned to edit videos. Okay, I know I can still use some work on that, but I, I'm, I'm learning, I'm learning. But I've learned to do all sorts of creating of videos that I never expected I would ever learn before, but I'm doing it. I've come up with content and hopefully entertaining enough, you know, to keep people interested. And I, I'm working at growing my channel. I would love to, I know I, I, there's nothing that I can tell about or do that would get, oh, thousands and thousands of viewers, okay? But I would like to at least um, hit over a hundred viewers. <laughs> It's just a goal. It's a little mini goal that I have for me. A couple hundred viewers would be nice too, whatever. But I'm working at it. I'm growing it. I'm just having fun with it. And that's what counts to me, right? That's what means most to me right now, is that I do enjoy doing this and putting out a video that people will hopefully enjoy or learn from, okay? That's what I like. So yes, me doing my YouTube channel, and hopefully doing it well, I, I, I hope. Um, it means a lot to me. It has been a very um, good accomplishment for me. Okay, what is the one word you would use to describe yourself in 2020? Okay, so that means this next year to, to describe myself. So that would be a cumulative effort from the past years. And I would have to say that when I look back over my life, that not so much in the early stages, I'm talking as an adult, that I would have to say my most favorite word would be survivalist, okay? I, I feel that I, I can deal with things as they come up, it might take me a few months or whatever to figure out what I'm gonna do, but I deal with things as they do come up and I, I work things out so that I am still on a going forward path in life. I, I don't let anything take me back for long and I don't fall back for long. I keep striving to go forward and just carry on the best way that I know how, um, giving me the most happiness in my life. So that's what I would say. My one word is survivalist. I am a survivalist. I'm gonna survive this life no matter what happens. <laughs> so, okay, those were the nine things, my list of nine items that Little Poet came up with and that I decided to respond to. I thought it was a good list, very thought provoking. Some of the items were. So anyway, I hope you found it interesting. I hope it sparked a little bit of interest in some people out there. And if you feel like replying in the comments below, please do so and let me know what you think. I'd be glad to hear, I would love to hear from you. And as far as tagging, I don't know how to officially tag somebody except to say on here that, well, I don't know many other YouTubers along the same line of things except Jeannie, you know. So if you would, take a look at those nine questions because I'm going to post them with this video. And how about a little video from you too, huh? Okay. So that, that's kind of like a challenge. Yeah, I'm a challenge and Jeannie. <laughs> so anyway, do what you want. Or, you know, what, whatever. But I found it to be an interesting little conversation, initiator, sparker, whatever you want to call it. So, anyway. Now, as far as my channel goes, yes, as I said, I would like to grow my channel. I would like it to be a little bit bigger. That's just my goal for this next year. We'll see what happens. You know, time will tell. That's another thing. But if you are watching this channel, this video, and you're new to this channel for the first time, why don't you hit that subscribe button in the corner of the screen there and keep on coming back and checking me out. 
And also while you're at it, hit that little bell off to the side of subscribe and then it, you'll be notified of videos when they come up. I am going to be recording videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. I was doing Sunday there for a while, but I, I just got off of it during the holidays. I'm not sure if I will continue that or not, but Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, definitely. And I do a lot of different things. You know, I cook, I, I do some little traveling, day trips here and there. Shopping, yeah, I do shopping too. And then odds and ends things during the, um, during the week. So if you're interested, come on back. I'd love to have you here, okay? But otherwise, that's about it from me for now. Um, so I hope you all are having a great day. Take care. We'll be talking again real soon. But bye for now.